Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Iran's enrichment capability has increased 10 times, Zahner says. Mojtaba Zahner, the chairman of the Iranian Parliament National Security and Foreign Policy Committee, told the Mare News Agency, MNA, correspondent that even during the Iranian New Year Eve, Noras, holidays, the Iranian nuclear scientists did not stop work and could successfully meet the demands of Parliament's law dubbed the Strategic Action Plan to Counter Sanctions approved in early last December. Scientists installed the centrifuges on time and implemented this part of the law through intensified efforts and redoubled efforts to complete the work even during the Noras holiday, Zahner said. He added, according to this, Parliament law, 1,000 IR-2M centrifuges had to be installed by the end of the year 1399, noting that the Iranian nuclear scientists succeeded in completing the project of installing 1,000 IR-2M centrifuges. He called the achievement a very important and strategic step. According to the senior MP, there were 19,000 installed and uninstalled centrifuges in Natanz, which were reduced to 5,100 centrifuges in accordance with the JCPOA obligations. He said that the SWU, separative work units, related to these IR-1 centrifuges is between 800 grams to 1 kilogram per year, that is, if a thousand IR-2M centrifuges operate in Natanz, nuclear site, at the end of the year, of 1400, each centrifuge can enrich 800 grams or 1200 grams of uranium. If each centrifuge enriches an average of 1 kg uranium, at the end of the year, 1,000 IR-1 centrifuges will produce 1,000 kilograms of enriched uranium, according to Zahner. He added that the IR-2 MS that are installed, first of all, their technology is completely Iranian, and we have no dependence on foreign countries in this field, and SWU of these IR-2 M centrifuges are between 5 and 6. This means that IR-2 M centrifuges have more than five times the capacity of our IR-1S operating in Natanz. In other words, this 1000 IR-2M machines that have been installed can enrich uranium as much as the entire Natan site, which operates according to the JCPOA. He said, these 1000 centrifuges have been designed and installed in six cascades, to four centrifuges of which uranium hexafluoride gas have been injected and industrial enrichment has begun. The head of the National Security and Foreign Policy Committee of the Iranian Parliament also said that another cascade is about to be launched, centrifuges of which have been installed and gas is about to be injected into. He also added another cascade out of six IR-2M centrifuge cascades is in a vacuum. In the next two days, its work will be completed and it will join the cascades that have started enrichment. The senior lawmaker added, this measure will increase the uranium enrichment capacity in the country. Zahner also declared the IR-4 cascade will be operated soon and is about to be launched, which is an important step. The capacity of this cascade is similar to that of IR-2MS, and it has a production capacity of 5 to 6 SWUs. He said, scientists have also installed the IR-6 centrifuges. This important change is more important than the previous two measures because the capacity of IR-6 is about 10 SWUs, and it has 10 times the enrichment capacity of existing IR-1 centrifuges. The chairman of the National Security and Foreign Policy Committee of the Parliament emphasized, these measures were legal obligations, in according to the Parliament's bill. He further stressed that it is planned to install IR-6 centrifuges according to the schedule, the first cascade of which has been installed, and this is the most important step in the development of the nuclear industry. He concluded Iran has taken three important steps to reduce its JCPOA obligations, warning that time is running out for the US and Europeans. If you like this video, hit the notification button for more news from Middle East. Thank you for watching.